minute and look at the mess that this boy made. Pete's breakfast. Oh, jeez. <laughs> there you go. Now kiss. Right here. Oh, did you cover that up? How's your breakfast? Mmm. Mm. Mammy creation. What is it? Bacon, egg, cheese, and biscuits. Mmm. Do you like it, Pete? Mmm. Here are your donuts, Andrew. Mmm. Your donuts good? Oh, Mammy's coming. Mm -hmm. Can I say mm -hmm. Can you say hi? No. Don't. Mimi. I've been told to update the blog, blog, whatever it is, blog, blog. Well, we were supposed to do pictures today, and clearly my hair is not doing too well, so we're going to pass on that. Um, and Eliza's too tired anyways from being out all day yesterday to do much with pictures and videos and all that stuff. So instead, we have gone through winter clothes and determined that we hate them. I mean, we really, really, really hate them. Mammy hates them the most. Um, Andrew, of course, has no clothes that fit because Andrew never has any clothes that fit because Andrew outgrows everything he has in a month. Eliza doesn't really need any clothes, but she has to get some. It's about having the best and most, so I can see it as a fine, we'll go to Goodwill. That's about as exciting as it's going to get here today. Do that shoulder thing again. Nope. Not that one either. Look at these guns. Is it? Remember that dance like from iCarly and whatever it was like through the hall and then he does the whole thing. No. Yeah. Whoa. Everyone's exchanging. Too, huh? What, you have big shoulders? Oh man, it's kind of big. Look how narrow they are, look. Oh. Oh. There you go. Hey guys, so today I will be doing my RC car. We have three of them. I have one right here with me and my dad has other two. This is a stampede, but I don't have the real body. We have the rustler and the grape digger. And then uh Okay, so are you gonna explain what you're doing? Yeah. Now okay. the clips. Put in the body on. This isn't the original body. Why not? I don't know. Put it on. This. Put the clips in. I only have two. Okay. Okay. Turn it on. How fast does it go? Uh, good. Uh, we only did it once last night. I think it was going around 30 miles per hour. Okay. Okay. You all ready? So, is it supposed to be beeping? Nope. Oh, the car. <laughs> oh, I'm recording. Almost ran over it. What happened? It only has one clip, so you might see the body go flying. Okay, I'm going back in the driveway. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to do a trick. Okay. We're, we're going down here. Follow me, okay? 
Well, I thought I'd do the update now. It's kind of quiet here. It's a little windy. We're getting ready to get some rain, but I'm hiding outside away from all the noise. Um, we just got back from Goodwill. We decided to have a nice family trip to Goodwill to get some winter clothes and do all those fun things. Well, it turned out to be a horrible trip. All five of us went, including Mammy, and Andrew's the only one who found anything. He got a pair of pants and a shirt, and I did get a really cute hat for the cruise. But let me tell you, the joys of this illness, they just stink. Going to Goodwill, taking the wheelchair, which is no big deal. I don't mind doing that, but it's hard for her to look at what she wants, and then she has to try stuff on, and that literally takes all of her energy. Like, she was totally wiped by the time we got back in the van to leave. Um, just stinks. Oh well, I mean, tomorrow's a new day. Yesterday at CHOP. Um, first off, the doctors there are amazing. Like, so, so amazing. Um, it's amazing after four years of walking into doctor's offices with Eliza and them saying, Oh, there's really nothing wrong with her. You know, maybe she has some anxiety or... Maybe she's depressed. I mean, I have depression and I know what that does. It doesn't cause you to lay in bed and almost pass out every time you stand up and all those kind of things. But it was so frustrating going through all that. And, you know, the effects of her dealing with doctor's offices who would always act like that, you know, makes it hard for her to go to the doctor and actually feel like anyone's going to believe her. I mean, the night before going somewhere new, I mean, she didn't even sleep. It was... I don't want to go, don't make me go, they're not going to believe me, blah, blah, blah. And we walked in and she was 100% believed. There was no, you know, maybe you have this. No, it was okay, you definitely have this. Um, dysautonomia affects your nervous system, your automatic nervous system. So like things that everyone does automatically, breathing, sneezing, you know, proper blood flow to any type of part of your body, um, digestive issues, um, blood flow issues where your blood stays where it wants to instead of going to where it's supposed to be, um, your heart rate, sleeping, you know, just everything, you know, if you just sit there for a minute, think of all the things your body does automatically, like your hair growing, you don't think about it, it just happens, but you know, every single thing that is automatic her body sometimes chooses to do and sometimes chooses not to do. Um, pots can affect lots of different systems in your body. You have your endocrine system, you have your digestive system, you have your, um, I don't even know all the names of systems. I'm still learning all this stuff. But basically she has um, dysautonomia, which affects her um, digestive system pretty severely. I mean, she's had digestive issues since she was a baby. Um, and that includes, you know, things like proper digestion, being able to absorb your vitamins and nutrients, um, being able to process fats. I mean, that, that killed her gallbladder because her fat wasn't being properly taken care of. Like it, you know, you, you go through this whole digestive tract and everything's supposed to do its job and hers does not. So... It sounds like she has a thing called gastroparesis, which is where your digestive system, it, it doesn't work properly. So she started on a medication for that. Um, she has temperature regulation issues. Like yesterday in the doctor's office, I'm telling you what, it was hot. I was hot in there. I mean, mind you, I'm always hot, but it was hot in there. And I felt her legs and her hands, and they were freezing cold. I mean, frigid. Um, so that's part of it. Um, I guess... The other thing that's a big concern right now is she has um, really severe headaches. And they were talking about the nerves that go up your spine are, are being affected. And that's what's causing her to have such horrible headaches. So we've changed up a different bunch of different meds. She's going to be taking like 10 different medications. But some are three times a day. Some are four times a day. Some are every four hours on the dot. Like just keeping on track of all the medications she has to take and when she has to take them and what side effects are part of what medication and all that kind of stuff is is a full-time job um so that's our update from CHOP we go back in one month um and we're gonna see if the medications have helped any I mean since she started on the floor enough the first medication her blood pressure and heart rate have been a little I mean have been much more regular her blood pressure has finally you know gotten above the 
really low point. I mean, there were days where we were at 60 over 40 and all kinds of crazy low numbers. We're right around like 110 over 70 now, which is much better. Um, her heart rate is still, give or take, we see 160s, we see 70s, we see 140s. It just, as soon as she stands up, I mean, her heart rate goes berserk. Even just sitting up, her heart rate goes berserk. So, you know, when, when you think about going to exercise and your target heart rate of, you know, 120-ish or whatever, yeah, hers is like that, just even sitting up and trying to walk to the bathroom. So she feels like she's run several marathons by the time the day's over. Um, last night was pretty rough because the reality of all the news was hitting all of us because, you know, no one wants to be told, you, you know, you have a chronic illness and they're not sure if or when it will ever go away. And, you know, that the treatment's trial and error. It's not like a very simple thing where, oh, here, take this medication and you're going to be fine tomorrow. No, it's... It's going to be a long process. I mean, she just, she's really feeling the effects now, you know, of this is my life. Like, this this is really my life. And, you know, it. you want your teenager to be normal. I mean, being a teenager is hard enough in life, but to have such chronic problems, it's just hard. I mean, she's missing out on all the cool things that kids her age go and do. I mean, she has friends that she talks to, but... There's nothing like being able to go shopping with your friend or being able to hang out and be silly for a whole evening and do a sleepover and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, things you take for granted, we don't hear. I mean, things that are good, we relish in every single moment that is good because for every good, there are several days trying to get us there. Um, so, yeah, our pictures didn't happen today. First off, it's rainy and yucky out, so they wouldn't have turned out very good anyways, and after yesterday, she was pretty, pretty tapped out and wiped from going and doing. Um, and honestly, Andrew wasn't up for it anyways, and I'm not going to force him to go do it. So, so yeah, so we're, we're dealing with all that. Struggling with, you know, how to balance a very healthy, normal child with a very sick child. And still feeling like I'm giving attention and needs to everyone. I mean, it's been awesome because... Paul has been very involved, you know, with Andrew, even, you know, since we divorced, he still sees him a couple times a week, and they hang out, and they play, and Pete does an awesome job of, you know, taking him outside, and doing crazy things, and they're just nuts, those boys, I'm telling you, um, but yeah, it's definitely going to be a long process, and, you know, today she got a care package in the mail from one of my cousins up in Michigan, and it just brightened her whole day. She was like, oh my goodness, she was so excited, and Andrew got some goodies in there too, so. Things like that, like, go so long because, you know, you just, when you feel so cruddy, there's not really much you can do that makes you feel happy, but just to be able to get something cool and open it and feel excited and like, oh my gosh, somebody really thought about me, it really... It brightened all our days. It was good. So thanks, Diane. It was sweet. Um, I don't really think I have much more to update today. I'm pretty updated out, and it seems like I'm doing most of the talking, so I'm going to have to get on the other vloggers in this family and let them know that they need to speak up, or I'm not running this thing myself. That's just not happening. Tonight is date night. I'm so thankful for date night. Mammy provides us with date night every Saturday night. That is like the biggest luxury in the world. I don't even know what we're doing. I don't even know if my hair is going to get brushed. It's a real big mess. And you can see all these white hairs. I mean, that is ridiculous. I am 36 years old. 35 years old. So, messy, messy, messy hair. Nice dark circles under my eyes. That's real attractive. Oh, well. Whatever. It is what it is. That's just how I look. Oh, we went to Goodwill for Pete to try on suits. Now, that was interesting. We didn't find any suits there. He needs one for the cruise, so... Oh, look, he just got home from the store. Say hi. Hi. He went and got water. We were out again. Eliza drinks like eight or ten bottles a day, so water in this house is gone in like five minutes. And he also got peanuts so that we can start making some more Chex Mix because that's a really good snack for Eliza to eat because it has tons and tons of salt in it. Honey, are you excited for date night? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What are we doing? I don't know. What do you want to do? Who cares? Get out of the house. So, and I'm sure Eliza's going to insert now, ooey, gooey, mushy, yucky, ugh, but we don't care. Oh, here's Andrew. Andrew, say hi. Yeah. Andrew is holding his RC car battery. And all he wants is his $425 slash 4x4. We should vlog me doing it. It's going to be like an hour. 
It's going to be an hour? Yeah, to charge. I told him he could buy a small car for that amount of money that he could really drive. So, oh well. Yeah. All right. I'll vlog it. You'll vlog it? I'll you better because I was just saying I'm doing all the vlogging and I'm tired of it. So, get vlogging. You think it's funny? I'm going to make you vlog too. Where are you? You're right here. All right, bye. Favorite snack. Our famous Chex Mix. Mm. <laughs> Do you just use the recipe that's on the box? No, I docked it up a little bit. Way more seasoning. Okay. Way more garlic. I use more of everything. More of everything. Yep. For this smell, I use a stick and a half of margarine. Then I use Worcestershire and I fill it up so it looks like the butter and the Worcestershire are together. And I add tons and tons of spices until it smells and tastes just right. And then we're ready to bake or eat in our house. Oh. We always have to have a bowl before it goes in. Well, that's Okay, is that all? That's it.